Boy, it's sunny here. Are we in Florida? No, we're yeah. in California. Georgia, it's your spring break. What are you going to do next? I'm going to Disneyland. That's right. Let's go. Woohoo. Okay, we're at the LAX in and out. And if you don't know California burgers, this is it. This is like the classic, normal, amazing, the double double. It's so good. And uh, it's right here by the airport. So we're going to eat burgers and watch planes land because that's how you do it. Thank you, Jonathan. Oh, Georgia got a double double. Mommy, how are the cheese fries? Good. Yum. They like get American cheese, two slices, and they put it on it, and then they put it in a steamer like you're so steaming a Mexican melt at a Taco Bell. Yummy. That hat. Oh, you're a cool girl. Are you happy, Daddy? I'm very happy. Let me see you. Crunchy burger. I got mine animal style, which is um, has grilled onions on it, extra sauce, special sauce, Thousand Island. Okay. And um, so that's what makes it animal style. And they put mustard on the grill, and they sort of like mash the meat into oh, the mustard. Oh, see, that's very unique. Well, it's unique. And I read, I think that animal style came from like the like surfer dudes mm -hmm. that were. Um, really hungry and they're like just like put mustard all over it and covered in sauce yeah and they're like they're like these guys are animals <laughs> mm. is it everything you drink it's so good mm. i know it looks basic and it sort of is but everybody Yeah, Shake Shack, Stank and Shake, it's like that. It's it's really good and, mm. you know, sort of basic. But, it's a lot of so fun. above average, yeah, totally. What about the marketing? The people in there are really nice, it's really clean. It is really clean in there. Yum, are you happy? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, happy check. Ooh, I'm raising my burger. Lindsay said they taste like fresh fries because I saw the guy placing the fries in the smasher. And he smashes them and they turn you into... Know, like McDonald's, it tastes kind of like old oil. And there's some, there's a part of that that's slightly comforting, but yeah. they do taste fresher. Uh, a lot of people like to say to get the an the fries animal style. Um, with like, I think there's meat it's on like, it. And, no, and South like Island South and, Island and Island cheese. cheese. Um, but to get it well done, they do the fries twice. So they're real crispy. Uh-oh, uh -oh, yeah. here comes so Spirit Airlines. It's not my favorite airline. Sorry, it's me. <laughs> now, here's the secret trivia, Georgia. Did you know that there's a Bible verse under your cup? Under what? Mommy, look uh -huh. under your cup. Under it? Uh-huh. John 316. Okay. It's usually always John 316. That's like the most famous of Bible verses. What my, John my dad would love it. I got to love the world again. It's only again. So I'm pretty sure every belief in him should not perish for the rest of life. Georgia got Proverbs 3 5. Oh, ooh, milkshakes get Proverbs. Who knew? Wait, maybe Big Fat Patty drinks. No, I got the Proverbs 360. But that's a little that's trivia good. about In and Out Burger. Georgia's found this tree over here. It looks like a good climbing tree. We should have eaten the grass over here. Pro tip, eat in the grass at the in and out at LAX. Now, there are two right here by the airport. Eat in the one on the north side of the airport. It's, it's this one. The other one doesn't have the, the planes as well. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go to Hollywood and check in in our Hilton Garden Inn that we're staying on points on. We're also staying in the Hilton Garden Inn in Disneyland East. It's just steps away from the main gate. And uh, all on points, thank you, Bramley Travel. Also, thanks Hilton. We're Hilton people now. It's like it's official. Yeah, so if you we like... love Hilton. You want to like... We're the Hilton credit card. Yeah, if you want to like give us stuff, let us... We're know. diamond. We'll review your... We'll review your hotel. Yeah, we will. Look at these palm trees. 
know you're in LA. All right. Well, hi, ladies. Did we get a room? We did. We're ready let's, to go. Let's go relax. We're just tired. Yeah, that was a long traffic heat. Very Los Angeles kind of drive. Longer than we thought. So from LAX to Hollywood, the Hilton Garden Inn, well, it was it like, 53 minutes, but like almost an hour or yeah. an hour. Yeah. yeah. But we don't have anything to do but relax. Let's and do it. that is why I'm so glad we didn't plan anything for today, yeah. which is a pro tip. Last time I planned stuff around, we got off the plane. This time- When you're in Europe, you have to. Otherwise you're wasting Europe. And Georgia has found her bag. <laughs> but Georgia, do you know, where's the Hollywood sign? I can't find it. What? Wow, what a view. Wow, what a view. We don't even have to hike there. It is the painting. So Georgia, tomorrow we're going to hike up here behind all this like electrical stuff and poles. And they're like, don't enter here or we'll get you. Yeah. And we're going to look at it from behind. And from behind, it says, do it low. Dewey Low. Dewey Low. Dewey Low. Welcome to Dewey Low. What's your name? Ooh, I bet it's going to be a parking lot. It's got to be a bunch of cars. I don't know how to roll it up. Oh, that's nice. It's a pool. The Hollywood pool. Oh, that's cute. That's cute little baby Hollywood. Welcome to Tiny Little Rabbit Hollywood. Okay, we're leaving our hotel and we're going to stroll down. It's 13 minutes to uh, the old Grauman's Chinese Theater. Now it's we called like the- walk, you know? Yeah. So like for some people, this particular location is too far of a walk to like those things, those touristy things. But for us, we're cool with that. It's fine. Yeah. The temperature dropped. California, you're so crazy. Yeah, California. So it is, when you go to Disneyland, if you're used to Florida, um, we usually come in the winter. It's like 47 and then it's like mid 70s. Because we're right by the desert and it's weird between the ocean like and the nighttime, desert. And in the early morning, you know, it's like a 30 degree difference. Yeah, so you gotta bring a hoodie to start your day. Then you definitely don't need it by noon. Um, anyway, our hotel is right here between like the Hollywood sign and the, Holly the, the Hollywood Bowl and the Chinese theater. So uh, it's an interesting, very touristy area. Lots of traffic, but um, there's a huge like town center movie theater and plenty of places to grab a bike. So. Let's go. Okay, we just found uh, Kermit the Frog on the Walk of Fame. <laughs> this is a good one. Look what happened to Mabel. We'll find Pug, Jerry Lewis. Kevin Spacey. Can I put a picture of Kevin Spacey there? Look, even former president. Rod Stewart. Tonight. Keanu Reeves, love it. <laughs> Matthew Broderick, Nathan Lane. <laughs> Bawa Wawa. Isn't that cool, Georgia? And it just goes on for blocks and blocks and blocks. Daniel oh, Radcliffe, you know who that is, Georgia? Eddie Potter. Once again. I like seeing the people that I've had pictures with, like. Me and Hello Cool J at the LaGuardia Airport. <laughs> That's a good one. Matthew brought her. Yeah, I was. I went through. I went through security, and he went through licking his lips like he does. All. Oh, Godzilla had one. And I was like, Hey, hello, hello, can I get a picture? And he's like, And I was like, Nah, man, I'm just doing it and doing it. And I started singing, and he's like, Okay, okay, you, we cool, we cool. Love it. I met Elton John, no photo though. And there's the theater, Georgia. You recognize that? So Georgia, this is why there's one in Hollywood Studios. This really is the one. It's a famous theater where like really important movies premiere. And they still do. And then like all these celebrities come and watch the movie. It's a big deal. So Georgia, we'll show you a picture of Walt Disney right here at the premiere of Mary Poppins with Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. It looks like Batman is showing right now. So here's Han Solo, Harrison Ford, and he put his feet here in the concrete and they pushed their hands down so it's there forever. Look at Judy Garland. Love it. Doris Day. 
Reading her words. Wow. You can notice like people's feet get bigger. Or their shoes. <laughs> like these right? people like from this the This is Marilyn Monroe. Even from the 50s. Those feet. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just really high well, they are, palms. But even the front is much narrower. Yeah. Than later. We got fat feet now. Wow. Kirk Douglas. Wow. And Johnny Depp. Okay, we hear the jackpot here. Frank Sinatra yeah. and Julie Andrews. Wow. Cher. Amazing. And of course, the premiere of Star Wars being here. They did that for Carrie Fisher. That's huge. Wow. Okay. Lindsay found Bing Crosby from 1936, man. Nobody more famous than him. And look how huge his is. Lindsay pointed it out. His is twice as big as anybody else's. And most people don't know this song. Where the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. Oh, and George, is something cool about Bing Crosby? Is he's one of the only people to have three stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I think I think there are a couple people that have four, but he has one for recording, one. for radio, and for movies because he did he did um, wow. seventy one films. John Travolta and Hugh Jackman. I got a picture of me and Hugh Jackman. Let's put it up. <laughs> Michael Caine. Michael Caine. In Georgia, the Avengers, and here's uh, Iron Man. All of the Avengers? Yeah. That's cool. Cecily Tyson, Mel Brooks, Tim Burton. That's cool. Look at the Chinese theater poking out over there. Is I want to. Dinosaur. I want to go to the, the Disney Studio store, see what that is. All right. Okay, this is a good area. Annette Finicello, Sting, the Andrews sisters, Donald Duck, Winnie the Pooh, Tinkerbell. Oh, you want to go in here first? Yeah. Tinkerbell. And Disneyland. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, this is the Disney Studio Store. Who knew? We don't even know who those guys are. I guess you and Giardelli. Yeah, cool. It smells like Willy Wonka up in here. I think this is it. It's not huge. What is it? This is it. It's a Giardelli store, but there's like a Disney corner. Yeah, there's a Disney corner. Well, they got the Weebo. That's my tummy. Cross me, being this scary takes practice. Of course, natural talent doesn't hurt. <laughs> Aww, sweet. That's so soft. Oh, I love some records. Cool, I haven't seen this one. Thank you, Lee. Who put the glad and the glad to you? Mickey Mouse Disco. Look at that. Zippity Doo Dot Disco version. I mean, this is cool stuff, though. It's Alan Menken, Georgia. Do you know who Alan Menken is? Because he wrote Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and everything else. Yeah. Tangled. Little Shop of Horrors. Look, it's Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. It's your favorite Tower of Terror voice. Rod Serling. This is a nice street to walk down like once every 10 years, you know. It's sort of like, it's sort of like Times Square for most people. Like, it's nice to pop in. Yeah, but like, yeah. I used to live where I had to go there all the time. Yeah, Times uh -huh. Square. And it was like not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I love this sign. Oh. Hollywood land. Oh, we got some fancy sushi bowls. 
And ramen Japanese style. Mommy, I got you this lovely private dining room with the premiere of Turning Red happening right behind us at El Capitan. You had that arranged? I did. Poor George's ramen was so hot it burned her tongue. Ow, ow, ow. So hot. So in California, like New York City, um, the pandemic was so rough because there's so many people packed in. Uh, it's still required, mandatory to wear your masks in all and these places. Vaccinated. So and be vaccinated. So uh, you know we don't mind. We'd rather not breathe other people's breath. <laughs> but this looks yummy. I'm gonna dig in. Okay, Georgia burned her tongue. So there's only one thing that will fix that: special paleta popsicles. Let's go. Oh yeah, that will help. A, that is a like birthday paleta. See, look at this. Oh, can we do pecans? Yeah. It's okay. That's fine. We like all nuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, like half and half. Oh, wow, bro. That's a treat. Protein treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Look who's behind us. Oh, it all began with a mouse. Yummy. Yummy. Look at all of these. Oh, we got chocolate dip or jata. Georgia? This is fierce. Okay, let's roll before it gets dark. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! That looks so good, doesn't it? What? All right. Just a light, light snack. Gotta get the legs so. Oh, of course. We're doing help. <laughs> it, it all falls. That was so nasty. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? Elvis should put bananas on it. It's very, I mean, it's very nutty. Yeah, it has so much maybe on too it. many nuts on there. It tastes like horchata. It's hard to tell with the chocolate it's on it. Nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. The pecans and I got. Almonds. <laughs> and I was like, no, oh, but you know. Georgia, how is yours? Good. I don't taste the orchata. It tastes pretty much most like sprinkles. So far, it just tastes like sprinkles. It's a, it's a heavily dominated by the topping, so maybe if you want to taste the actual paleta, go without. Yeah. Well, Let me go check out the pool. Check out the pool. Mm -hmm. It's chilly. <laughs> But cute. It's really cute with a little sign. A bridge out here. I mean, it's like above the parking lot, but. I would totally get in that hot tub if I thought to bring bathing suits. <laughs> Jared was like, should we bring the bathing suits? And I was like, no, it'll be cold. And we're like, we're doing too much Disney. We don't have to go in. It's okay. We'll do this. Cute. Tiny wood. Tiny wood. Okay, we gotta go to bed. We got a hike tomorrow. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Okay, we're here in the Hollywood Hills. Look at how beautiful these houses on the hill. There's our little pool out there. Look how beautiful these houses are out here. Okay, we're gonna meet our friend Alex Foley, George's friend, our friend, babysitter, amazing Disney magical human. And we're gonna go on a hike, but I'm going to Starbucks first. Here we go. So this hotel is like, you know, totally a medium, normal hotel. But we do feel like we're sort of in the middle of the touristy stuff, so if that's what you want, I recommend this little hotel. If we stood on the top of the hotel, we could see the Hollywood sign, if you're into that type of thing. We got Wally on TV. How's your Starbucks ladies? Good, good. All right, now we just gotta get out here. Okay, so we are going up in the Hollywood Hills. And Driving here is a little bit crazy. It I is? haven't volunteered to do it yet. It is tricky. There are a few ways to get up to the sign, but we're going to try and hike behind the sign. Hopefully this trail is open. Um, but a lot of people that live in this neighborhood, you know, don't like people obviously parking in their yard or on the street. I read that sometimes the people in this neighborhood put up fake signs. They're like, this trail's closed. The trail's closed so that people don't park there. Turn away. But uh, you can see, look, show them right here, Lens. That mountain straight ahead of us is just right at the Hollywood sign. And uh, you've sort of got to drive up here, but it's still six miles to get up there. But uh, George is amazing. And we're all really excited. George is such a good sport. She's down with this. And George, we're going to Disneyland tonight. You're yeah. going to ride the Incredicoaster tonight. We're so excited. We're going to go with our friends Stephanie and John. 
Um, so parking here is crazy. If you don't get here early, um, you're going to have to park and walk a mile just to get to the trailhead. Um, our friend Alex is going to be here any minute. And we're saving like one spot for her at the end of this. But it's going to get tight. So uh, this is going to be great. Ladies and gentlemen, guess who's here? It's Alex Foley. Alex is an amazing friend. It's like, yeah, I'll meet you for a six mile hike to the Hollywood sign. I live here. And I've okay. never done it. I'm a tourist. Let's do, well, we're totally tourists. Okay, here we go. 1.9 miles straight. Bronson Caves, 0.2 miles. Hollywood sign. Straight, she says. Let's do it. Okay, you can't bring your car up here. No motorcycles, no bikes, no vehicles. Georgia, look out for mountain lions and rattlesnakes. Ah! Uh, Emergency call 911. Okay. The Brush Canyon Trailhead. Okay, so we're parked here. It says Camp Hollywood Land. We're gonna go up this trail, not too steep, and we're gonna meet a T. And when we hit meet the T on Mulholland Trail, we're gonna turn left. Okay. And then we're gonna go wiggy up, 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 up. And then we're gonna turn right here and go around the loop to the Hollywood sign. Great. So, so when we get here right. and here, we'll be and able to see the sign probably. Right on but, Mount Lee Drive. Yeah, so I took a picture of it. But that's it? It's gonna be awesome. All right. So these hikers got here early. We're starting as they're coming back. So they probably got started at like, I don't know, six or something earlier to watch the sunrise. It's just so cool. All of these, there's some little trails up here. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but beautiful. Look at the palm trees right up here. So if you want to do this hike, there's not much shade at all. So this is one of the rare shaded moments at the beginning. Um, and then you're just like out in the deserty hills. So. Make sure you bring your water and your sunscreen and a good attitude. And I'm saying this with Georgia way back there. This hike isn't for little kids, but Georgia can ride her bike 15 miles, so she can hike three miles up there. Okay, so we're going up here and you can see people on the hill. We're gonna go around and then across this ridge. Then at that fence, we're gonna turn and go up the mountain. Oh, yeah. I found a stick for you, right? Excellent. Wow. Well, it hit me in the head. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to get to that outlook up there. People are taking selfies. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, this is a beautiful view of the ocean and the city. And uh, we're only like 45 minutes in. So, Georgia, what do we need? A juice box, right? For parking. Yeah, we're just going right over there. This is a flying fish. And I'm having a LaCroix, the official. Oh my God. This is a flying, flying fish. fish. Nice. You got to bring cold drinks. And look, they're horses. So cool. There's another trail on the Griffith Observatory side. You can ride horses over here. So the trail goes right or left. We're going left. And, all right. Good morning. I'm jealous of your horses. That looks amazing. <laughs> I've got that uh, endorphin pie. It is so beautiful up here. And there's even a trash can for my LaCroix. God bless the people that take these trash bags out. And guys, if you look over there, that's Griffith Observatory. If you've ever seen A Rebel Without a Cause with James Dean. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mommy got a hike. And... Oh, I slipped. Did you see that? It's like moonwalking. Yeah, you slipped on It's slippery, right? Here you go. Well done, mommy. Georgia, look around the corner. What do you see? Oh. Hooray for Hollywood. Da, 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 Hollywood. You know who wrote that song? Johnny Mercer. Hey. The poet laureate of Savannah Dogger. Okay, here's where the trail uh, splits and it's definitely time for a Snickers, the official sponsor of this hike. Just How kidding. Eight -year -olds walk six yeah. Miles. yeah. So I think Alex and Georgia should split this because it's and got Alex. like it's got like two. Yeah. Georgia, what did what did you say? It looks like a little rat. It looks like it, it look, the, the boat like looks like a little boat. And this, the like wavy part looks like a um, like ocean. Ooh, mm -hmm. Snickers. And Lindsay got a, uh, I got her a little box this morning. Oh, thank you, babe. I do require cheese every four hours. Hey, Lindsay, can we uh, gross everybody out with my bike accident? Sick, babe. Yeah. I, uh, I had a big fall. Always wear a helmet. I'm glad I was wearing my helmet. But I've got like all these. Like... Let me yeah. see the leg ones. Can you see? Yikes. Um, anyway, leg but. Leg. Jared fell off his bike because he saw a bird. It was a really good bird. All right, this says Hollywood sign to the left, but that's a view of the front. We're going to the Mount Lee Summit. 0.9 miles and we're there to the Mount Lee Summit. 
All right, it's paved up here and that is where we just came from down there. Amazing. We're gonna go all the way up around here behind the sign. Can you find Ikea? Where is that? Blue building. Good eye. <laughs> Ikea. So cool. Yeah, that was part of Ikea. Yeah, this is Forest Lawn here where a lot of the celebrities are buried, including Michael Jackson, whom I'm a big fan of. And I realize not everybody is. Okay, we're getting there. Mount Lee Summit, 0.2 miles. Kahwenga Peak, 0.3. But this is what we want. Mount Lee Summit, right here around the corner. Yes. And this is an official trail to Kahwenga Peak. We're not going this way, but look at this little rugged trail. If you're a real hiker, that's awesome. So what are these things? Uh, oh, they, they were so spiky. Georgia called them kiwachuis. It looks like a deadly lime. Can somebody in the comments tell us what that is? Deadly Georgia, lime. Georgia, touch it, but it is spiky. Um, it won't make you bleed, but it does feel a, prickly. It's called a danger lime. Danger lime. Oh, it is spiky. A pawpaw or a prickly pear. Like a jungle book. Okay, to the peak. Wow. Look at the Hollywood Reservoir, guys. Oh, I see the sign. We are right behind the sign, right here. This is Alex's first time. Me and Lindsay did this 11 years ago, so now we're doing it with our eight-year-old. So cool. Let's see it above. Cool. So there's one little extra peak up here where you can see it without this fence in the way. And wave to the security camera. Okay, Bradshaw line time. We did that in an hour and 54 minutes. And now we're just gonna go up this one tiny little peak. Up the final peak. Up the final peak. Ba, 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 ba. All of Los Angeles. So cool. <laughs> Georgia, I'm very proud of you hiking all the way up to the Hollywood sign. No, 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 no. Good job, Alex. Thank Good job. you. Good job, Mommy. Don't fall off. Oh. Look at that. There's Griffith Park Observatory. Way over there. Okay, we're here at the top. Georgia, was that hard? Yes. Yeah. Was, do you think eight-year-olds should do this or not? Oh, it depends. You can, shorter, there are shorter versions of it. Yeah, and you can ride your 15.5 mile bike so I think you can do you know four or five miles on a hike look at you can see everything you see the airport and Burbank over here it's just beautiful totally worth it there's a camera there are more than one camera on every single letter these letters are 45 feet tall so they're speakers somebody said that if you go over obviously they'll arrest you but it's like turn around we're watching you because they really are so don't even think about it. All right, Georgia, we, we are very proud of you. You did awesome. And I'm so glad you had a cheese stick did and all of this. Did you think that was hard for kids? Mm -hmm. So that was really fun. Totally possible and for kids, but hard. Six and a half miles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's another option that's three miles that you can do instead. You don't get right behind the Hollywood sign, but you can still see it. So there's a lot of great options. Yeah. But anyway, I was wearing like dark colored pants so that's probably yeah you want some shorts hot. next time yeah. okay good to yeah, know great well we're so glad good. alex joined us because she's know, our right? favorite awesome. disney friend and uh, we're going to disneyland tomorrow and Yay! remember if you like our vibe you, you should, should subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> yeah